Hey guys, it's Olivia Show. Today I will be doing another simple snack, and it's gonna be chocolate sauce and fried apples, as you can see, because I just held up the apples. So, right here, I'm just showing you all the chocolate chips in the pan and everything. I'm using milk chocolate chips, as you can see right there. They are really delicious for this kind of sauce, and I hope that you like it. So, this is the stuff that goes in it. We need two tablespoons of brown sugar. There it is. Then, we need pretty much two spoons of peanut butter. And when you put in the peanut butter, make sure not to do too much because you can always over flavor it. And we don't want that. So here I'm turning on my stove to about 6.5. You should do a little bit lower than that because chocolate can burn. But I'm doing it at that because I am. And now we're just waiting for them to melt a little bit. And when it does, then we're just gonna add in our peanut butter. Now, right here, I th think we're going to add in our peanut butter, which we are doing. So right here I have about two, maybe three tablespoons, and I'm using that to just incorporate it into the chocolate to give it a little bit of peanut butter um, flavor. You don't have to use pure peanut butter you can use peanut butter powder or anything like that but I'm using pure peanut butter because I think that it's just way better and it makes your sauce way more creamy so here I am I'm just adding it in and I will be adding in a little bit more among the way you don't have to do that though and right now I'm just using and right now I'm just stirring in all of my ingredients. I'm using a spatula that you just make everyday eggs with, but I recommend using a baking spatula because using this kind of spatula can make your sauce taste kind of onion-y because you mostly use it for onions, eggs, and all of that. So make sure to use a baking spatula. I did the wrong thing here, but use a baking spatula. So right now I am going to be adding a little bit more peanut butter because it doesn't really look like it has enough but um it's going to in just a moment so as you can see yeah there it is and um when i added the peanut butter you need to make sure that um that you turn off your heat at about when there are still chunks and then you add in your brown sugar like this stir it around this will make your chocolate sauce just a tiny bit more clumpy than you want it but it makes it way more sweeter so here I am just stirring it it looks so amazingly creamy it's amazing and now I will be teaching you how to make the fried apples so now I'm going to be teaching you how to make the fried apples so what you need is an apple sliced up in even slices turn up your heat to 6.5 again and uh, lay them out evenly on your pan all oh, those two are stuck together just need to lay them out evenly on your pan and when you do that just make sure that they don't land on the peel or anything because then the peel can burn and then when you dip it in chocolate sauce, it won't taste great. So when you lay them down like I'm doing, you need to get another tool and their tongs. So then when your apples start sizzling, you want to just flip them over like that. You just want to flip them over so then they will cook properly. And every so often when they start sizzling, then that is when you want to flip them over, let the other side sizzle, and then they are done. But that isn't what's happening right now, but it's going to happen very soon. So they are almost done here. And when they are done, we need to make sure to put them on a cool surface because when we... Because if we don't, then they just, they might taste bad or whatever. But if you put them on a warm surface, it'll, it just won't be good. So, you can see me flipping the apples right here. 
We're just flipping them all. The one that I just flipped was the one that was sizzling the most. So I will be doing that right now. And yeah, I'm just going to be flipping my apples. And they will be done right about now. So now here they are all done. And since they are done, we will be putting them in the bowl. And as I said, it needs to be a cool surface. I just got this out of my cabinet. So now we're just going to put the apples inside. Now I have an empty pan. Now that the apples are inside the bowl, and we already made the chocolate sauce, I now present to you, da -da -da -da, apples and chocolate sauce. Hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe, and if you already have, you're awesome. Bye, guys.